So I was finally able to go out and hunt for some phones for my collection. I got these seven here and then this uh, car phone which seems to be complete in box. I have no clue if it works yet or not but I will test it and I will put have it on video too. Anyways, first things first. I got these. I picked these up from a flea market for 20 bucks and I feel kind of ripped off because at the moment neither of them actually work. This one has a, uh, I don't know what kind of issue it has, but I tried charging it. I tried charging the battery separately and it would not come on. It would not show any signs of, what the, oh, okay. Well, okay, <laughs> okay then. Yes, this is the Kyocera Dura XT. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a neat surprise. I honestly wasn't expecting that. The guy at the flea market told me this was a demo unit, and I guess I figured he was bullshitting, because... Yeah, okay, I'm going to plug this up real quick. Yep, this Kyocera Dura XT that I thought was dead is actually alive. It just, it didn't show any signs of life at all whenever I first got it, but here it is. Okay, now for the rest of this stuff. This... The Sony Ericsson K790A. It has a white screen of death, which, as far as I know, it can be fixed. But I don't have the equipment to do that. So, for now, this phone is dead. But it does function as far as I know. Because it powers on. It does the white screen of death display loop thing. That's all it does. Okay, now for this. This, these, I all got from a yard sale. I paid 24 bucks for the whole lot, because that's all I had on me. This is a Senyo SCP-3100. It is my first Senyo phone. And also, I would like to mention that this is my first lot of phones I've received that has Sprint phones along with them. So, I now... I didn't have Sprint phones in my collection before this, but now I do. Anyways, I could not get this phone to power on at all. And when I received it, the battery was uh, swollen, so there's not much I can do with it at this time. Onward, we have a HTC Snap, I believe. Yes, there it is. This one does work. As these, as far as I'm concerned, work. This Motorola i335 is the first Nextel Motorola in my collection. And I've been dying to have one of these for a while, but there's just one problem. This phone did not come with a SIM card, and also the battery's dead. <laughs> Anyways, this is the next find a LG Optimus S and I believe this one does work but it does not have a battery in it so I am unable to test it but whenever I plugged it out the screen did come on and say battery required so I feel like it has a good chance of working and now we got this same okay okay I'm not gonna show that I'm not gonna show personal content on camera but sorry <laughs> but this is a Samsung SPH M500, and it is the first Samsung CDMA phone in my collection, believe it or not. It does work, and if possible, I would like to make a firmware dump of this phone in the future. Alright, so that's all for the phones I've received, all seven of them, this, the pocket phones at least. There's this. Oh, what's this? Network busy. I don't care because I'm not using this on the network. I also... I had no business buying this at all. But I picked up this goodie. It is a Yamaha PSR-12. I'll plug this up. 
And it too does work. I picked this up at a different flea market. And I didn't really want to spend the money at first because it was 60 bucks. I didn't really want to spend that much on one thing. But I didn't find anything else in there that I wanted, so I bought this. I don't really know any songs off the top of my head. But yeah, there's this. And then the final thing I have to show is this Casio digital camera. Casio QV3000EX. And whenever I, test, whenever I tested it out with batteries, nothing happened. So I have no clue if this camera works or not. Well, I've shown all that I found today. Now time to see if this thing works. Okay, I wasn't able to uh, to uh, supply power to this phone in the house, so here I am in the car. Only thing really physically wrong with it I, that I've noticed is that the antenna is falling apart. But other than that, this thing looks pretty pristine in my opinion. All right, I don't actually remember if the power outlet in this car works or not. Guess we're gonna find out. Okay, it does. What's it gonna do? Oh, hey, Radio Shack. It displays Radio Shack when you power it on. That's just cool. All right, what can we do? Okay. I have no idea if that number is registered to anybody. Okay, but this phone was on bluegrass cellular. Alright, what can I do? I don't expect that to do anything. I don't expect the phone to do anything at all, because whatever network technology this uses is long gone. I'm sure. Let's see. I don't actually know what I'm looking at. Like, is this a menu? What is it telling me? Menu A. Uh. What the French toast? Yeah, you're watching me figure out an archaic phone in real time. So, bear with me. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I honestly don't know how to access the menu functions of this phone. Because it looks like there is a menu of some sort. Just don't know how to access it. What the fuck? Okay, I didn't mean to swear on camera. I apologize. But yes, this phone, it works. But I don't know, I don't trust that NICAD battery in there. So, I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it and see what happens. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Okay, it just doesn't hold the charge at all. Alright, well, I guess that concludes the video. Hopefully I can make more of these in the future. That's it.